This is The Joint on Sirius XM. I'm Pat McKay, and it's a special day when you get to speak with someone fundamental to the basis of Caribbean music's identity, and that is our blessing today. Kai Chin, welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Pat. Good to have you here. Uh, you've been producing music, a part of music, for decades. Your most recent gift to us is Lord Creator's Greatest Hits. That's true. I find it very interesting to have him in our household. And he came in 1962 with other musicians from various islands in the Caribbean. So he had your vote of approval, which is very tough to get from a six-year-old. You were impressed immediately. That's correct. My father was the one instrumentally in charge of his production. Songs that were picked to become part of the Randy's group. In the beginning, in 1962, it was a Calypso production. And then your dad's music was part of the soundtrack for, for that era. Oh yes. And you were already an authority by nature of birth and circumstances, just being submerged or immersed in music from such a young age. That's correct. Anyway, the producer was Clancy Eccles that did the song called The King and Queen. And um, the song became, it wasn't a massive hit, international. I'm just lot. really impressed with the amount of choices that you had versus all the other brilliant talents. How does he stand in your view? He was up there. My greatest remembrance of him is that he didn't take any time to pen a song, write a song. That is only speculation. There was no eyewitness to see Don was the, you know, the, the man behind the knife. But he showed up for Lord Creator in sessions. Yes, yeah, he did. So funny that he, I can't remember. I'm going to give you a, a joke here. The trips down to Federal Recording Studio, where my father used to use to record his uh, music in the 60s. Uncut. Peeled, but unchopped. But that set of we can't hold the, the cane in the vehicle. You know, see, it's a small vehicle. Don said, it's all right, I'll hold one side and your son will hold the other side. I, I'm saying to myself, boy, this man is unique. You know, you don't want the cane cut, you know? So everything was up here in his head. I consider him a maestro, very talented. He was with you the other day? That's correct. That's beautiful, Clive. I'm very happy for you that you got some time with Joel's yes. baby girl. And you know I love him. Um, I know. In the studio, most especially Clive. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. One, one bless up, as they say. Bless up. Bless up. <laughs>